everybody. Um, I'm bringing to you today um, two uh, design team projects for Fernley Designs. Um, I just had to do the second one, it was just so cute. Uh, this is the first one I've done and it's using the tree and obviously some of the little love hearts and I just printed out our family tree on a piece of A4 paper and painted the tree in this warm white colour, uh, painted the hearts all in chalk paint and just wrote on Dean who's my son, Julia who's his partner and Luca is my grandson who's five in December and Ava is my granddaughter who would be two in January and um, yeah I didn't want to add anything else to it, I didn't think it needed it, I thought it just needed to be very um, elegant and simple. So that was my first project and my second one is this, zoom out a bit, um, and it's my little Halloween scene and the box, the um, this is from Ikea and it has a piece of glass. I was going to do a Christmas scene with it but I decided to use it for this and the, the letters are from Fernley Designs and to make it stand up I just had to stick it on a piece of card but I'm very unsure about it actually I don't know whether to change it or get rid of it or somehow um, and this is one of the bird houses, the tall bird house and I just covered the doorway. Is there a doorway over on there? I can't think now. Oh, goodness gracious. Anyway, I just put this little door on just from card. And these little pieces here are from the bricks that you get when you order the brick wall. You can use it as a mask or whatever. But these are the little bricks that come out of it. And I, I wanted it to be higgledy piggledy rather than uh, than all nice and matching. The Skeleton is just something that I got from the pound shop along with this creepy cloth thing uh, which I've obviously just stuck to the side. Um, I painted this with gesso, black gesso and then just put some silver rub and buff on it. Uh, the pumpkin is, I've used my Stampin' Up oh, small oval punch, punched it out three times and just highlighted it and just drew a face on it. The fence obviously firmly designed again painted black and then has the silver rub and buff on it. The the lamppost is two lampposts together and oh, let me see. Oh no you can't see. Um but anyway trapped between the two of them is some uh, acetate which I've just put some red ink on it just to give it like a bit of a red glow. You can see it from here where I am but you obviously can't see it on the the, uh, the camera. Again another little paper uh, pumpkin and the skull. Uh, this ivy is crafter's companion and it's the smallest one that there is. And this is actually the centre of a little frame. You get this little, like it's very art deco type frame and that was just the centrepiece that was in it and I just thought it was great and I, I didn't want to alter it in any way. I just wanted to keep it so it looked like it had been broken. Again, the fence, I've just done the exact same thing there. Um, some more paper pumpkins, the tree. I just again painted uh, black, black gesso and silver, um, little hangman's noose there, uh, some more ivy which I thought looked like fall leaves. I was going to put them on a tree but it just didn't look right, I can't really see that. Um, this die here is, oh who is it? I can see, I can see the picture in my head. Anyway, I'll, I'll try and put that down on the bottom if I remember. The fly, I have two of these and I tried to cut round it so you could just see the fly and it just 
it looked like a little black blob so I just left it on there and stuck it on there the Halloween I've painted with purple chalk paint and then put some just silver rub and buff on it because uh, it just I think it just made it look a bit more aged and looked good I like it but anyway there it is that that the body parts all <laughs> from one skeleton I did try to hang him but because obviously the scale was completely wrong it just looked well he was bigger than the box actually altogether <laughs> he was hanging there and it came all the way down to the bottom and it just looked ridiculous so I just snapped him up cut him cut him to pieces anyway there are my design team makes and thank you very much for stopping by and watching if leave any comments I would love to know what you think good or bad thank you very much Bye.